All right, what's good, everybody? Hope everybody uh, had a wonderful day today. This is a middle of the day podcast. There wasn't really much on the news to talk about that I deemed, well, sufficient enough to talk about. So I th- thought I'd bring up here this incident happened in Antioch, Tennessee. That's uh, suburban Nashville. Let me get to a place here where they, the light is a little bit better. Sorry about that light. Oh, okay, so now the school district between that and the police could not reveal the identity of this young lady student because she was still a minor, all right? Some places, it's just not going to allow you to, uh, to do that. Okay, because of privacy reasons. But there was an incident out there, uh, Antioch, Tennessee, suburban Nashville, where a teacher was sprayed in the face twice with pepper spray for taking a young lady's phone uh, in a class. All right. You can see the video yourself where the teacher took the phone they went outside and on the way outside the doggone student pepper sprayed them and then pepper sprayed them again outside the class the guy gets all on his knees and then some administrators or faculty you know uh got involved and say hey you know chill out told the student that well that student is in custody now of Nashville police. I think what they want to do is they're going to treat this like adult-like case. Okay? But that's the way it's getting that if a lot of these minors or whatever, okay, particularly if they get a certain age, let's say 16, okay? But it depends on what type of crime that they do against adults. They're going to get charged. They're going to get charged or going to get tried like adults, depending on what they do. All right? And uh, that's what's going to go on, according to reports of Nashville Metro Police. But they didn't reveal what type of disciplinary action is going to be taken, you know, as far as she can remain at that school or not. They didn't say all that. I think what needs to happen in a lot of these classes, but then again, a lot of students know this, too, by the time you get probably in high school, they're young people or parents if y'all have young people that are old enough to go to high school or if they're you know students or if you have children in high school that by then you know phones are just not allowed when they when they have class now it may be a different policy if they got like lunch breaks or like breaks in between classes and that type of thing you know i would assume as long as they get to the class at the time that they're supposed to get to it you know, and then the phones are off, all right? I'm pretty sure that's going to be like that anyway. That's going to be the policy, all right? College is probably not too much different, I'm thinking, unless you're like a, a first responder or something like that, but, okay, many of these institutions, okay, for anybody that's old enough to have phones are not going to allow phones during class. It is what it is. I think that what needs to happen, if it didn't already happen, you know where when a course starts and you get like a syllabus, okay, but as long as you get like a student handbook about, they talk about code, code of conduct and I don't know, smoking and cell phone policy and that type of thing, okay? That I think that it needs to be something that, that needs to be understood if they didn't already do it and it needs to be a knowledge and if it's not met, okay, then, yeah, they could be asked, you know, well, I'm thinking by the time you get to high school, why you want to confiscate somebody's phone? They could just be asked to leave, all right? A lot of because a lot of these students are just as big as adults. I know that school is going to be ending in a lot of places very soon. Like, for example, here in Las Vegas, school ends on the 22nd, which is about two weeks something like that 
So, you know, I, I do know that maybe some of those policies may become a little bit lenient, but I think it needs to be something that's going to be, that remains in effect for the entire semester or for the entire school year. Okay. As long as they're in class, but uh, again, as long as they're in class, that policy should remain in effect. Now, I think that if it is in the handbook, if they did put it in the well, if they did not put that in the handbook, that's the Antioch or Nashville, any suburban area of Nashville, including the inner city, city itself, they had that policy or any other policy, and that's understood, I think you wouldn't have half these incidents like you would have going on all now. Okay, but that doesn't, I'm not going to discount what that student did because she knew she was wrong, okay? I mean, that's basically like assault of like a public official. That's something that could be very, very serious, okay? Uh, particularly if you, you know, you try to buck like a state uh, employee, all right, or county employee, that could be a very serious offense. But what say if you about this, this incident, all right? Um, I just think that was uncalled for, all right? And I just also think, along with this the, uh, uh, for school policy, but you get to a certain age, you know better than that. So let me know what you think about the video there, and I thank you for your time. Like, subscribe, share, cash app, dollar sign, what's this five year if you want to donate?